Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, I wanted to get back into my bullet journaling and we're gonna start with the month of April. I think this is where I stopped last year. No, I stopped around June. But yes, I used to do these bullet journals all last year and then life got a little too crazy. So I wanna get back to doing my bullet journals because I just, I, they inspire me a ton and especially after being around a lot of planner stickers and stickers and washi tape and everything. I just, I love the inspiration and people wanting to do bullet journals. And so, but the thing how I'm going to approach my bullet journals this time is to not do typical themes. I'd rather do themes like, for example, I did an Easter spring theme for my bullet journal last year for the month of April, but I'm gonna go ahead and stray away from doing typical themes. I want to do more of what I want to do. I want to do themes that I enjoy. For example, here is a fluffy alpaca because I love alpacas. And yes, that was me checking the dates on my phone. <laughs> um, but I like bullet journals because I know that I can come back and look at it and it gives me an overall view of the month. And I said this many times in any of my older bullet journals that you know that I love looking at what's going on that month and everything. I picked a specific color scheme for this. For the alpaca, I wanted to give the alpaca more of an Aztec kind of feel, theme to her. As well as the color scheme, I stuck with an aqua green yellow color scheme. And I wanted to make sure that everything was kind of matched with the Aztec theme with the colors I chose. Now these are tedious, making my little frou-frou balls. <laughs> I jump around a lot, as you can tell. So I go around and I gave my little llama the little shawl to match the frou-frou balls everywhere. And I wanted those little frou-frou balls to go all across just because it made me think of if you go to see an alpaca booth, they have these frou-frou balls sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes you see pictures of the alpacas wearing these cute little blankets on their backs that just make them look super cute. I just, I love alpaca. So it didn't, it of course made sense to me to go ahead because I already made a spring llama drawing tutorial. So I thought I'd go ahead and give a spring feel to a llama. And plus just the green and blue colors remind me of spring with the green and the blue, just bluer skies because we'll have better weather, hopefully. And the green, just because all the green on the trees are gonna come back. For the April typography and the typography on the rest of the page, I didn't really pick a specific typography for the word April. I knew that I wanted it to look like it was stitched onto the alpaca's blanket on her. And I just wanted everything to look like it was hand sewn, to look like the blanket. That's what I was going for, the pattern. I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, I do carry around a passion planner, which I do write down like my notes and lessons because it's big enough to write down my notes and lessons. But when I have the bullet journal, it's nice to have an overall feel and look at the month. So when I start filling up, um, I have my April goals and then I have important April dates. For example, one of the important dates is my fiance's birthday. He was born on April Fools, which just warms my heart. He's such a funny guy anyway. <laughs> and so um, he was born on April Fools and then Easter is way later in April this year compared to last year, it was on April 1st. So technically last year we were getting ready for Easter. Who decides when holidays fall? <laughs> so I get, December 25th, but why is it up in the air? Like, why does Easter keep going this way and that way? And so for my important dates and my April goals, I have a lot because I'm getting married on May 4th and there's just a lot of goals going on. So I gave myself a deadline and you can see everything that's yellow is what's super important. But I gave myself a deadline because I still work for a theater company, a small after art school theater company, and I have to give my sets i have to give it all done i have to give it to them and be like i'm done that's it that's all you get from me i'm done and you know sometimes it helps to give yourself an overall deadline that's something else my fiance taught me give yourself a deadline so you can shoot for it like this is it this is all you get but honestly i gave myself a deadline to get it done 
on the 14th of April so that I can focus on my table decorations and my decorations for my wedding because that ultimately gives me about three weeks to focus on my decorations and just zoning in on that. I mean, I've been collecting for the past five, six months all my decorations, but now it's time to make them all happen. <laughs> and it actually, it does, um, it does work when you collect it and then you make it all happen. The thing is that I am making all these lanterns and they're all going to be themed Disney. But yes, that is what I am going for when it comes to my table decorations. I've got, I think they came out with 25 to 30 tables. So it's 25 to 30 lanterns and 25 to 30 Disney themes I have to do for each lanterns. I'm gonna go insane. It's okay. <laughs> I might like, cheat on a couple and just get some Disney like candles or something and then do the themes and some of the other ones I'm not sure but I'm trying to figure out on how I can minimize my workload something else is some, that I keep telling myself and keep hearing is keep moving forward because I gotta be honest with you guys I have wanted to elope with Steven five times in my past engagement <laughs> I wanted to elope and call everything off, but you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> but hey, when you get married to the person you love, you know you'll go through this. You will go through this. <laughs> Wedding planning is hard. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But you know, just gotta keep moving forward, so give yourself that little inspiration kick like I did. But here is my overall April bullet journal overview. I love the color scheme I chose and I love my little alpaca. I hope you guys get into bullet journaling and I hope you all have a most wonderful April. Bye!